how does someone know when it's appropriate to touch? Do you touch men, women? Sure. What do you do? So I am five feet tall and I'm a female. So for me, it's a little bit different because um, I want to make sure that I'm being respectful of boundaries and all that kind of stuff. Um, have you ever heard of the one-armed hug? No. <laughs> so it's a trick I learned. Um, so I am a very like touchy, positive, happy person. My goal is by every, the end of every listing presentation, I get to hug the client. That's, that's just how I operate. Um, I, we joke around in my business that my business partner, Matt, we joke around that like he's the stuff and I'm the fluff. Um, but for me, it's, um, you know, the one armed hug is, it's a respectful thing because whether the guy is married or, you know, he's, single guy here or it's female whatever it is i think it's too much to go in and at the end and like hug them so i just kind of like it's just like we're on the same page like just kind of a little embrace i literally end my listing presentations with a hug i mean that's probably different than the like majority of people hug. you interviewed depends so usually if it's a man it's a one-armed hug just because i'm trying to keep certain things away from them uh and so keep it professional but um the thing for me is when it comes to touch, I mean, I'm a touchy person. I'm a, I'm a touchy feely person. So do you think I like you're, we're walking, let's say you're husband and wife, we're yeah. married, Yeah. you know, there's no impropriety or anything, sure. right? Do you touch both of us throughout the walking stages up and down? It would be the wife only. If it's a husband and wife, I would only touch the wife. Really? Totally. Absolutely. Because you might piss her off. Yep. Absolutely. I never, be, I'm like... I'm 31 years old, I'm blonde, I'm real friendly. There, I mean, when I got into the business, I was 26 years old and I had no idea what I was doing and I had didn't have any credibility behind me, I didn't have any closings. So I just realized I had to be super professional and maintain you know, a high level of integrity the whole time and I realized that if it's a husband and wife couple, I could be potentially threatening to the wife. Yeah. So I was going to focus on her and talk to the husband a lot when it came to money and stuff like that and repairing the house and that kind of so thing. So you'll touch her totally anywhere. Just yeah. I might like n gently, you know, if there's something that comes up or it's a joke or he says something funny, but I'm watching her. I'm focusing more on the wife. If I have a husband and wife couple for sure. Okay. So then what, what do you do if it's just a guy? So I just closed on a deal. It was a single guy. Um, he's in his young thirties. I'm in my young thirties. In the listening presentation, he talked about that he was a huge Raiders fan. So his closing gift I gave him was this like hideous Raiders toaster. It literally toasts the Raiders symbol on your piece of bread. And guarantee you that guy's gonna refer me business for the rest of his life, you know? But it's like, I didn't, I never really touched him because I felt like it wasn't appropriate. So I feel like there's kind of like an age gap of where it's okay. And, and like, I, I shook his hand for sure, but I didn't hug him because I think there's a professional boundary that just doesn't need to be crossed. You need to know the right moment. Men typically don't want to be touched on the hand or the arm. It's usually a shoulder touch. Okay. That's mostly comfortable. Um, women can be touched anywhere from the elbow to the hand. This is my personal opinion. This is what I've seen. Um, if it's a really open couple, like high eye, you could probably touch the, the woman. I, I've grabbed hands before and it hasn't been a video like, oh, that's so great. And just kind of grab the top of their hand. But if you're not comfortable with touching, I would say don't do it. <laughs> you have to know when it is appropriate. Right, right, right. I mean, it's weird to touch someone you don't know very well. Like right. even just now touching you, I don't, I've never, I haven't touched you very often. Right, I don't right. think we've ever touched. Maybe bro, <laughs> yeah. high five or something. But um, waiters and waitresses use that technique all the time to get tipped more. The more a waitress or waiter touches their clients, men or fem men or women, this isn't sexual. It's bonding in an intimate way, right. non-sexual, and they get higher tips, five to ten percent more if they touch their client. Yeah, I, I I remember going to a seminar where they said you take the the two hands and you touch it like here, hmm. right, like below the below the elbow, just for a second. Huh, I didn't know that. Just and to it, call and attention. It creates a bond. Interesting. When they tell me a joke, I like to grab their hand. So you say something funny, I'm like, oh, dude, that's hilarious. Like I do like this push away, so it's not awkward. It's like, oh, Pat, that's hilarious, and I'm push. I'm kind of doing a little push away. Thing. That's cool. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you know how people do that when yeah, they laugh? Yeah. They kind of do this back off and yeah, laugh yeah, thing. Yeah. So. This isn't something I'm cognizantly thinking about, but it's kind of coming out now.
yeah, yeah, like yeah. a therapist. No, <laughs> talking no, I with think me. it's important because I think you're right. People list with people that they like, mm -hmm. right? And if if a waitress is going to do it for five to ten percent more tip, right? Shouldn't a real estate agent do it for a percent more, two percent more? Uh, how about or, just getting the list? Or just getting the, yes. the, 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 the list? Yes, the they thing. should. And I think the key, if I look back at what I just said, was loving on them, caring about them. It's not just some, oh, I'm going to check a box. I need to get this listing so I can make $8,000. I want to help your family move to Portland. That's what, I, what matters to me. At least if, you're not, if that's not who you are today, become that. <laughs>